In this video, I'll go over how to migrate data between two identical Synology NAS devices by migrating the hard drives from one NAS to another. As a reference, I'll be using this Synology knowledge base article, which I'll also link to in the description below. Note that the article also covers migrating between different Synology NAS models, and if that's the situation you are in, you'll want to check out that section of the article. I'll also be creating a video covering that process as well, so depending on when you are watching this video, the video on migrating hard drives between different Synology NAS models may already be out. Also, before migrating hard drives between NAS devices, you'll want to have a look at the environment section of the article and follow any suggested recommendations if it applies to your setup. In my case, I followed this link and backed up what was recommended. Specifically, I backed up my shared folders, which I already had in place, and did a system configuration backup as well. Also, when doing a migration between two identical Synology NAS models, you'll need a temporary hard drive, so I made sure I had one available. And finally, I had both Synology NAS devices on the same network with the source NAS running and the destination NAS turned off. Now, with everything that was suggested under the environment section in place, I followed the migrate between two identical Synology NAS model section of the article, which I'll go over next. At this point, I'm logged into DSM on the source NAS, and I'll bring up control panel, then update and restore, and make sure the NAS is running the newest version of DSM, which it is in my case. Make sure to upgrade your Synology NAS to the newest version of DSM if you do have updates that are available. Next, I'll install a temporary drive in the destination NAS and boot it up. Then after hearing a beep from the NAS, which is an indication that the boot up process completed, I'll bring up my web browser and go to find.synology.com and search for the NAS on the local network, which was found successfully. At this point, I'll click connect then from this welcome window, I'll click install and install DSM on the temporary drive. After the installation is completed, I'll come up to this welcome window where I'll click start. Then from the next window that appears, I'll give the NASA name and create an administrator account. I'll then complete the remaining setup steps. And once I'm logged in, I'll check to make sure the latest version of DSM is installed from the Update and Restore control panel. The NAS is at the latest version of DSM, so I'll shut it down, and I'll also shut down the source NAS as well. Now I'll remove the temporary drive from the destination NAS, then move the drives from the source NAS to the destination NAS, making sure to install the drives in the same order they were in. Once that is done, I'll turn on the destination NAS and if I refresh my web browser, the DSM login screen appears where I'm able to log in successfully, and I can confirm that the data was successfully migrated as well. At this point, the hard drive migration is done, and the last thing to do is reconfigure any of the items listed in this section of the article. In my case, I only needed to check that the system and package configurations were set up correctly but if you encrypted your volumes or had any packages with licenses, you'll need to go through some additional steps to get everything migrated. Another option you may want to consider for migrating your data to another Synology NAS is Migration Assistant, which I go over in this video listed here on screen. Lastly, consider supporting my work by checking out the Support This Channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.